There in Nehemiah chapter 1, please let your ear be attentive and your eyes open that you may hear the prayer of your servant, which I pray before you now, day and night. For the children of Israel, your servants, and confess the sins of the children of Israel, which we have sinned against you, both my father's house and I have sinned. So here he is, he's praying based upon the knowledge, his knowledge of God and God's mercy. And he comes to confess and ask forgiveness. And at once you see again here, you see how the Lord is actually preparing Nehemiah's heart. That he might be the kind of person that God can use. The one who sees sin as the problem. And in this case, uh, that was the reason why the walls of Jerusalem had not been repaired and not been rebuilt because of sin. But I want you to note the progression of the confession. Prayer first, he said, for the children of Israel. The nation as a whole had sinned. Uh, They were your servants, he said, servants of God. But the whole nation sinned. But he doesn't stop there when he he prays to the Lord for the nation. He doesn't stop there, as sadly many do. Uh, You know, well, we're in this mess because them. They've done it. They've sinned. They don't know what they're doing. They've sinned. Oh, they recognized Sin is the problem, and that's a good thing that we recognize that. But all too often, we perhaps think that the problem is everybody else's sin. Well, he goes further, doesn't he? He uses the word we. Please let your ear be attentive and your eyes open that you may hear the prayer of your servant, which I pray before you now, day and night, for the children of Israel, your servants, and confess the sins of the children of Israel, which we have sinned against you, both my father's house and I have sinned. So he recognizes we as part of the nation. He doesn't exclude himself. He doesn't just say, you know, they, they've sinned. But he goes further and he becomes specific and he, he uses that we. But then we can be a little vague. It can still be collective blame. We have all sinned and come short of the glory of God. And perhaps it's a, a little easier to own up to Uh, the fact that we are part of the we, then it is for personal blame. But he goes further than that, and then he says, my father's house. Oh, now we're getting really closer. Closer to the personal confession. And then he said, it ends with I. I have sinned. And that is what God needs to hear from all of us.